Hey Anonymi, welcome to another video. I'm here with Junior. Say hey Junior. Hi. We found, drum roll please, a brand new box of 2020 Kansas tall grass. This is one of my favorite designs. I think you saw in a video recently that we bought a roll of these in Philadelphia uh, at the coin show. And I was peeking. This is the type of box that has holes on the bottom, and I noticed it was new. When I when I uh, picked it up at the bank, I noticed it was new. But when I cracked it open, it became even more exciting. Because it was brand new. You know, and the... And another drum roll. That is a P mint mark. Everything in here is Philadelphia. Uh, we've been coin roll hunting for about three years now. We've never gotten a new box of any kind of Philadelphia new issue coin. So this is a first for us. Uh, 2020 continues to deliver a lot of strange things, and Philadelphia coins west of the Mississippi River is one of them. Uh, as you know, we're, we're looking for Ws in here. We're looking for high-grade coins. We may set a couple of rolls aside for original bank wrapped. We'll see how it goes. And friends, or maybe yep. sell. Um, another friend of mine likes to take new issue coin too. So we will, uh, we're going to start with a hundred dollars worth of this and see if we find any W's and go from there. But, um, if we're hot, we're going to go with it. As you know, last year we found a box with a hundred and I think it was 109 well, we had W's. Nine, we had like nine extras, but we found a hundred. We found a hundred in one of the boxes last year, 2019. Uh, and... Then this year we found a box of Rockefeller, all brand new issue, zero W's. So we've seen both ends of the spectrum here. I'm kind of suspecting zero. There were no enders. And um, being out of footprint, they must have been cranking these out full speed to get delivered out here. So I'll go ahead and take the first roll here and take a little peek. The, the good news is if there are W's, we don't want enders because that crimper was annihilating the End. yeah obverses any obverses facing out so these are i, I need to get these in a better position <laughs> like with the shadow you can see it on my face yeah it's like the light on one side and then a shadow with the light of the coin on so the other. some of these are really strangely struck uh this field looks frosty like it's cameoed almost like a reverse proof quarter that's not what it is it's just a peculiarity of a philadelphia strike but there's another one like that there might be some fun versions of that to keep when we scour through this for more high high grades and errors Things of that nature. We usually take two runs of anything we get. Yeah, if we're looking for W's. Like first we look for brand new, kind of nice things. We're looking for W's first. And then we look for like... like then we're looking for high grades, and then we're looking for any errors, varieties. Or anything we just missed. Yep. So we'll go through one roll here live. And then you know how we are, we'll pause, and then come back to you if we find anything. Here's a, a better struck one with more of a mirror finish. So there's a variety of different strike types, even in this first roll. I've seen a, a lot of strikes of these uh, peas of different nominations kind of looking reverse proof as well. I think I noticed that in the dimes. Frosty field and then a more reflective devices. So no doubles in the first roll. I'll give it a pause and I will let you guys know if we find anything interesting. Okay guys, I've done enough of these rolls to where I, I think I see something. I wanna see if you see it. Um, there is a rim that sticks out here to me. And it's extra thick and it's extra crisp. It's right there. The light's on it right there. You see that? And you can kind of pick out the peas, but I am almost certain 
that that is a W. And Junior's here. Do you want to pull it, Junior? Yep. Okay, it's right, right there. Do you see it? This bright this one? one? Big, thick, bright one? Mm -hmm. Let me show the folks. Uh, it's W! W? Okay, we got a V75W, guys. Yeah. Brand spanking new. Uncirculated. That's amazing. What a beautiful coin. And I, I think I said this in the other video. I love this design. Some people knock it and say it's plain and boring, and yeah. I love it. It's not that boring with a butterfly. This is a really, this is a really high grade. I bet it's a... Just this is at least 66, but maybe 67. This is a really high grade. This is a wonderful coin. Yeah, it is. Um, I've got a lot to compare to, and I've, I've studied these heavily. That's a wonderful. They're the last 2020 coins that to come out. Yeah, this is the quarters. final 2020 quarter. Yes, even though it's 2021 now, um, this this is our the final 2020 quarter. So guys, this is not a zero box. We are on to something. So stick with us. That was five rolls. I would like to think that every row would have one, and we walk away with. 20 or whatever or 10 that would be wonderful but i don't want to get my hopes up too too good but that's a great great thing we we have one so stick with us we're going to keep hunting if i see any more of those huge rims i'll bring you in there's a lot of different strike types and varieties in this box so we'll talk about those at the end okay and on my roll number 15 yeah 15 i think you can see i think i have W friends right there. Yeah, I don't see any others, but it looks like those two right there might be friends. And uh, luckily they weren't on the end, so we didn't get crimped. We'll pull these out. I pull, I'm pulling three. This one I think is a P. Yep. These two, however, I think are V75. There it is, baby. Number one. Number two. These are gorgeous. Uh, this one right here is a lower grade than the very first one that we looked at that I was slobbering over. This is probably a 65. It's above average, it's nice. Uh, you can see some field uh, fields scrape right here and then there's one up on the, his upper forehead near the hairline um, so this isn't in the almost flawless category but it's very nice this other one here I got a bag mark from the reading on his cheek there they are one two three you see them uh, a little bit of a scrape out here in the field scrape over there by v75 and his neck has some scoring. This is more like 64 or 65. This one's a little rougher, but uh, that's BU. That's a BU, beautiful, uncirculated W. So I'm very excited. That was roll 15, and we're up to three. So uh, I, I was a little concerned that this box was gonna ice us out the rest of the way, and we just pulled out two in a row. So keep watching, stick with us. All right, guys, it slowed down on me for a minute. This is roll 25, so we're about halfway in, almost halfway. And I finally spotted another rim here. Kind of take a look. See if you can spot it with me. Oh, you saw it. There it is. Let's see what we're dealing with. Beautiful. Roll 24. Got a couple nicks in the middle part of that field in the grass. One chi scar, cheek scar, and then it's pretty good. It's probably a 65. That's a nice coin. So I'll put these with the other not best of the best, but nice BUWs. And we'll keep rolling. All right, guys, I just went through roll number uh, 30, and I'm slipping. It's getting later in the evening. 
This roll had three. One, two, three. You can see the V75 across the board there. Um, out of the three, this one is probably marginally the nicest. This might be creeping up into MS66 territory. Maybe 65, 66. This one is equally as nice. It, its biggest gouge is right on Washington's chin, though, and it kind of catches the eye in a not great way. Uh, this one's got some field scratches, neck scratches. Um, good strike, but it has the most bag marks. Looking for errors, strike throughs, anything unusual that would make it a really cool W. These look pretty ordinary, but that was a slam and roll. Three of them. So for the box, at roll 30, we are up to seven. These six here, and then that's the one that I was considering the nicest one. I'm still going to try and pause when I see some cool rims, but that roll was totally fooling me um, in a great way. I'm happy about it. So let's try roll 31, see what happens. Maybe have you with me here and bring me some luck. But it seems like every time I turn on the camera, I get iced. So I don't see any thicker proof rims, proof looking rims. No, this one had a good shine to it, but no, that's a P. So I'll keep rolling. I'm going to keep you guys in here. Let's see if we can get 10. If we can get 10, that would be a huge win. So let's let's do this. Roll 34. I think I see a I think I see a pretty juicy one here in the middle. See the light catching it a little extra compared to the others right there. Ding. All right, here we go. There it is. V75, W, kind of has some ugly splotching on the cheek. The reverse is pretty glorious. Yeah, that's not a grader, but uh, that's a V75 uncirculated W. Gets us up to number eight, and we have 16 rolls to go. So stick with me, guys. I hope you're having fun. I'm starting to really have fun. Okay, just got through roll number 44. Got another one. This brings us to number 9. Uh, MS64. It's kind of one of the more bagged up ones. Got some bag marks. The reverses tend to hold up a little bit better. I think it's because the rim is taller and it even has that extra rim um, inside of the name of the park and estate in the year. Um, so there's not as much collision going on. So really when you're looking at these, you're looking for nice, clean obverses. Uh, Washington takes a beating. So there's number nine. We will press on six rolls to go. This makes me want to go to the bank and see if they have any more boxes just like this in the morning. Okay, I jumped the gun a little bit on this next roll, turning the camera off. Um, I already peeked, but I was going to try to show you the rim. It's this one right here. I didn't I didn't even notice it. A couple of those miscolored splotches. Uh, as far as nicks and scars go, it's not bad. Probably an MS65. It's pretty good. All things considered. Usually the cheek takes it first, but you never know. These things get hammered pretty hard when they go through the coin feeders. So that's 10. We got 10. That was kind of the hope. That was the dream. Um, I don't know. Is this one? Sure enough, it is. That's 11. So I'm, I'm losing my touch tonight with looking at the rims. But uh, this, is, this is pretty clean. This is above average. This is probably a 65, 66 as well. Beautiful. Wonderful. 
I don't know. Their P's. P, P. Um, maybe I'll just go through these live just in case. But um, one cool thing I found in this box, and I'll show you at the end of the video, is um, strike through errors on the reverses. There is a <clears throat> recurring spot in this box where I have almost, almost, I don't, I haven't counted them, probably an entire roll of quarters with uh, the same strike through. And it's right in the middle of the tall. grass right up oh, here's what here's an example of one it looked like damage at first um, but right here in the center is a repetitive strike through so I have I'm getting to the point where I have at least a whole roll of that strike through I think I'll set aside a roll it'll be kind of a fun strike through error roll to have uh, I'm setting aside any that look clean so I can just put together a nice gem roll of these peas, especially the ones with the better strikes. The ones that are kind of foggy and satiny, uh, inconsistent, those are a little less desirable, so some of them look kind of cool, like they're a reverse proof or something, but uh, as far as getting a, a good grade, it's, it's going to lose points on the poor strike and the late die state, it's not going to gain points or make it worth more. So this is roll number uh, 46. I don't see anything popping, but I haven't been the last few times. So I'll let you know when I find another one. All right, team, this is the final roll. I don't see any popping but I thought it's the last roll well, let's go through it together P P P I've been fooled the last few times so it's a nicer one I've been setting aside my nicer ones here Put a couple of gem rolls together. All peas. Trying to look at the reverses to see if there's anything wild going on. But when you go through a whole box, you start to go cross-eyed, looking at the same quarter each and every time. You don't realize how strenuous it is to look at each and every single quarter versus a box of circulated coins. Um, you, you really don't study each quite as closely. If it's trashed and it's a common year, oftentimes you throw it aside. You're not looking for uh, absolute uncirculated high grade type cues. You're just tossing it. So that is it. Uh, that is the end of this Kansas tall grass box. So on the W's, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One better than my hope was at the beginning when I started to see the uh, frequency that we were hitting on. We've got an enormous stack of uncirculated quarters here, and uh, two. Tall stacks here that equal more than one roll of the strike through. And then right here are just nice coins that I'm going to roll up and, and set aside as uh, above average coins. So we'll collect a couple of rolls. 
that's it for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to go back up to the bank, see if I can snag another box like this. You never know. I compared this to my 66s and 7s that I have, and it's borderline. So I think if I sent it in, I'd be gambling a little bit. This could come back 66, which wouldn't be terrible, but um, it wouldn't be a big value add. It would be a, worth a little bit more than the grading cost, so uh, I wouldn't be disappointed. It, it just wouldn't be a huge money maker. 67 is where the money is. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I went a little long. Click that, click that thumbs up for me. Subscribe. See if we get another box here soon, and we'll see you guys in the next hunt. Happy hunting.